Good morning. Today I am going to nervously test this Glowish by Huda. Um, this is the powder foundation and the blush that she came out with. And this is glowy. I saw a few reviews and they're very negative. Um, I actually watched Tara Lynn's video last night and I was just like cracking up. I couldn't stop laughing at her reaction. So we're gonna try it. Now I do like glowy products. I actually love her other uh, product, the glowish like foundation, but that one I usually use it combined with another foundation by itself. It's just a little bit too glowy, but combined with something else, I really like it, but I don't know how you're gonna combine a powder. We'll see. So this is $33. I got mine in light 02 or 03. And then I got the blush in 02 carrying coral and this is $21. I am planning to do a full day wear test, but it depends how this starts on the skin. Um, if it's way too glowy, I may try to use it as a powder on top of a foundation. So let's see, okay. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe down below. If you guys enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me grow. So I've kind of been debating what primer to use. I think I'm gonna go with this Tatcha one, uh, the liquid. I feel like I do need something, but I don't want something glowy. <laughs> uh, and this hopefully will help the foundation go on really smooth. So this is the packaging. It's actually really cute. It reminds me of the bronzer and I absolutely love the bronzer in this collection. Um, it's just this like plastic and that's the shade. I picked light. I did swatch it in store and it seemed decent. Um, so let me swatch it right here. I mean, you can see the glow from there. And even when I swatched it in store, I was like, is that a highlighter or a foundation? So there's two ways that I'm gonna try to apply it. I'm gonna try to apply it with a brush. I have this Merit brush, so good. And then I have a sponge. I usually don't love putting a powder with a sponge just because it almost applies too much. It drags it, I don't know. I don't love powder foundation with sponge but that's how huda applied it in her video so that's what we're gonna do okay so i'm gonna start on this side and i'm just gonna go here and pick up that picks up a lot and this is a little damp and like you can see on the sponge Kind of the glow that it has. So now I love a glowy base. Like I love glowy foundations. I I could almost wear one that makes me look like a Tin Man. Quite like almost, not quite, but almost. So I expect to like this. And I, I don't have huge problems with my skin. I wouldn't say that my skin is um, prone to texture or acne. Um, in the winter, it's pretty dry, but that's about it. So when I hear glowy, I like that. Um, oh, no, 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 no. I was really hoping this would work. It looks so bad on my pores right now. Okay, I'm going to try to turn the light down so you guys can see how bad it looks around my pores. So right here, it looks really bad actually. Wow, um, I really had hopes because I do like a really glowy base. Now it looks really beautiful here. So if you literally have no pores, this may look really nice. But right here, I almost feel like it's so glowy that I can't really show you guys how bad it looks here because the light just reflects off of it. And I did turn the light down, but uh, it literally shows every single pore I have. This looks really bad, just on my pores. It looks perfect right here. It looks really good actually. 
and the color is nice but right here on my pores that looks awful okay so i will should i even finish what i want to do is wipe this off i want to put a pore filling primer and see if you'll look good with that because it really does look beautiful right here uh for me i would i could take this like i like this amount of glow it's just the pores that's the problem the pores are so emphasized so if i can fix that it could be a beautiful beautiful foundation okay let me take this off do a pore filling primer i'm gonna use my tarte pore filling one that's like heavy duty <laughs> it's like just covering everything so i'll be right back okay i wiped that off put that tarte timeless primer on that usually covers every pore um i'm gonna first try it with this i wonder if it's gonna go better with a brush like this this is from merit and it's so good so i'm gonna pick up some product and it picks up kind of weird look right there in the center it almost gathers but the powder is very soft so let's see I don't like it with this at all actually i'm gonna go back to the sponge and try this again the sponge applies it better overall okay so i lowered the light all the way down so now you can hopefully see um, the texture on the skin i will say that it looks better than it did before but it's it's too glowy it's just a little bit too glowy mo mostly for a powder there's so much texture right here and i usually don't struggle with that like i would say i have a pretty good normal skin i can kind of pull off almost any foundation unless it's super drying um and this looks really bad. Like there's no way I'm wearing this all day because I have places to be. Um, I'm not even gonna bother to put it all over. From far away, I'm like, ooh, that's pretty. I like the glow. It's just the texture. Like I didn't even know I have texture here until I put this on. I don't, I don't understand this. I am a little disappointed because I really was excited about this. Like a lot you know what i'm just gonna finish putting it all on that way you guys can see the whole face and then i will take it off and try to use it more as um just finishing powder because i do like a glow i'm keeping the lights all the way down because i really want you guys to be able to see everything <laughs> like every texture and all because I will say sometimes the camera makes it look better than it actually is in person because the lights tend to just wash out some texture I'm trying to get as close as I can so this is the whole foundation put on from far away I actually really like it like when I look from there here I'm like ooh, I really like it but the second I look close up, you can see just so much texture and it just looks like it's sitting on top of the skin and it's bringing so much attention to areas that I didn't even know had issues. <laughs> like it's, it's giving me more issues than I had without a foundation on. Sometimes with powder foundations, I do think that they tend to look better throughout the day once your oils come through but then i'll be even more glowy <laughs> so i feel like the more i sit with it the better it looks um 
I'm gonna take it off one more time and I'm gonna put concealer on first and then reapply this. I know this is my third try. I'll take this off and be right back. I am back. Um, I put a little bit of concealer on just right here and I'm ready to try this on again. I left the lights a little bit down that way hopefully it can pick up by the camera everything I'm doing. Um, taking a little bit more. Third time's a charm, right? I am determined to make this work. Maybe right here where I saw so much texture, I'm just gonna feather it in whatever is left on the sponge and not apply as much. Maybe that's the problem, like that I just added a little bit too much in those areas where there's a lot um, of pores. Okay, I think we can make it work. Um, so putting that concealer under helped it almost cover the pores a little bit. So this didn't look as textury uh, around the pore area. It looks a little bit right here where I didn't touch with the concealer, but the rest actually looks really pretty. I really think the key is to put the concealer first, make sure it's smooth, um, and it actually looks really pretty from far away. <laughs> Even from close up, there's more texture up here that I would prefer, but it's not terrible. Again, I will do a close up one more time. And then my nose having some issues, I think just because I put it on and took it off uh, so many times. So let's get a good close up. So the nose is a little textury. I do see a little bit here, but it's not terrible. I see a little bit of texture right here as well, but it's nothing like when we first applied it. So I do think I can, I can do a full day wear test with this. I can, I, I can make it work. Um, so let me put my bronzer, brows, everything on except the blush. I'm going to come back to put the blush. I will use the glowish uh, bronzer. It's one of my favorite bronzers and I'll be right back. I'm back and I put my eyes on, my brows and my lips. Um, I put a little bit of bronzer. I used the Huda bronzer, where is it? This one right here, I have mine in the shade two medium and I love this bronzer so much. I do have to pick a shade darker uh, because this is great when I'm really fair, but I think I, think I could pull off a shade darker. Um, so the quality is so amazing. I really enjoy it. And the packaging is the same, see? Um, so, okay, my thoughts right now, um, it doesn't look as bad as it did in the beginning. I just still see it around my pore area. I, I really don't like it around the pore area. It just emphasizes everything. Now, I will say that around my smile lines, it looks really good. Um, so around like the wrinkle area, I don't, I don't see it emphasizing anything. So overall, I think from far away, it looks, it looks good. Like it really does. Um, but I really don't like it right here. So let's put blush. Maybe that will cover it up. So the blush I got is in O2 Caring Coral. Uh, I really was tempted to get the, the lightest one, one, but it looked so light that I was like, Will it even show up in, on my skin? So this is tiny. This is the big one and the blush is much smaller. This is the packaging. It's really cute. I do like it. And, and that's how it looks inside. It looks darker here, but when I swatched it, it wasn't that bad. So this is a light swatch of it. And I think that's gonna be pretty. It looks more pink than coral to me, no? But let's see it on the skin. I usually don't love pink blushes. I really like terracotta, brownier, um, even burnt colors. I like peach colors. So this to me, it seems pretty pink. So I'm getting quite a bit of product. I'm gonna take a little bit off and 
apply it here. Okay, that's much softer than I expected, which is a good thing. I was expecting to have, um, like Anastasia, like their blushes. I was expecting to have that pigmentation, but no, this is softer. That actually looks beautiful and it actually helped my pores right here. Um, just smooth them out. Yeah, so this side, I'll try to zoom you guys in. This side looks so much smoother than this side, simply because the blush is not quite as glowy and it just went over the pores and just smoothed them out. That's really pretty. And on the skin, it looks definitely a little bit more corally than super pink, so that's, that's good. This blush actually smoothed my skin so much. It looks stunning. I almost didn't pick this up just because I'm like another blush, but it looks really, really beautiful. It helped so much with my pore area. It looks so much better. Um, okay, this is the blush and I think it's beautiful. Now I'm going to spray my face. I did not put mascara on my lower lashes because I knew if I spray it, it'll go everywhere. I honestly have the hardest time with mascaras lately. Uh, any mascara I put goes on my lower lash, uh, on my um, under eye, and it makes it look dirty and messy. I'm really struggling. I even bought the MAC Extend Play, and that smudges on me. I don't no one mascara that doesn't smudge. The Thrive Cosmetics, I haven't tried it in like a year, but I think that one used to not smudge at all. Even waterproof mascaras smudge on me. If you guys have any recommendations, please let me know because I put it on and then as I edit, you can slowly see the mascara running and it's, oh, it's so frustrating um, because when in person I can just kind of wipe it and it's okay but in videos it just frustrates me but then I don't like the way it looks without mascara so if you guys have any recommendations please please let me know of a good bottom lash mascara that doesn't smudge okay I'm gonna set my face with the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray this is not super glowy it gives a slight radiance but it sets it better than most of my other sprays. So let me put this mascara on my lower lashes. That way we can have black everywhere and I'll be right back. Like I even do this trick where I take a little bit of powder and just kind of like set my lower lashes so they won't, um, they won't smudge and it still smudges. It's been, I would say in the past, three months that I've really, really been struggling with this. Okay, everything is on and I am actually surprised that I made this work. I actually think my skin looks really pretty right now. Now, it took me a long time and effort and trials to make this work so far. Um, so I initial reaction is no i don't i don't really like this but i do want to wear this and see how it looks throughout the day gather my thoughts i will also at the end of the day come back and um put it more of a finishing powder kind of like the hourglass ones and see how that does i like a glowy skin i'm not afraid of a glowy skin i just don't like a textury skin and pore skin um so yeah, I had that issue with this foundation, like, a lot. Um, my great saving grace was this blush right here. It completely smoothed out my pores. It looks just flawless. It looks so good. So if you have any texture on your skin or your pores tend to show a lot, this blush is amazing. And I really like the color. It's not too pink. I was just afraid it's going to be like this, like, bright pink. 
No, it's really pretty. The blush is like amazing. I really like it. I'm actually going to take a little bit of that blush and put it in my crease just to um, blend it a little bit. I don't even have a mirror. I'm doing this in the viewfinder. I do that trick like all the time because I think it just makes everything flow better. I am so curious to see how this works throughout the day. So um, I'll see you in just a little bit. It is the end of the day and I've had this makeup on all day long and I've been like pulled at babies just slobbering all over me and pulling on me and um, I, you know, it doesn't look that bad. It definitely is gone around here, even around here. I don't really see the foundation a ton. I see it right here. Um, so it's definitely has faded, but it hasn't faded horribly. It actually looks decent for how long I've been wearing it. Now, um, Throughout the day, it actually looked really pretty on my skin. I was surprised that I didn't see that it texture. Um, right here is the thing that bothered me a bit because I I could almost see a little bit too glow. It's almost like I put a very light highlighter there. And it was here, not here, where I usually like to have a little glow. Uh, I also ate something spicy and like my lips are like hurting <laughs> but um yeah it it's not horrible it's definitely not the best it's a it's it's just interesting I've never experienced a powder quite like this um I don't know it's not my favorite it's definitely not my favorite but it, it throughout the day it looked nice on the skin now what I want to do is take this off and I want to put my regular foundation and then kind of carefully set my face with this one and see how it looks will that look better um i don't know this this is intriguing to me it's not as horrible as i initially thought it was but it's definitely not great so let me take this off and then i'm gonna come back i'll have my foundation concealer on uh, the blush actually lasted pretty well i really like the blush i feel like I said before, this was kind of the saving grace because it did just smooth out the pores that I had right here. So this was actually really nice. I really like the blush. But um, let me take this off and I'll be right back. All right, I put my foundation on and a little bit of bronzer. Um, I used my Shiseido Sinker Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation. I wanted to use a foundation that's not very glowy, but it has like it's just good overall it's a good basic foundation not too sheer not extremely full um although i feel like this looks pretty full right now anyway um so i'm gonna take this and i'm just kind of confused of what i want to do next like do i want to put it with just a very like light brush that's very fluffy or do i want to buff it in i'm kind of thinking of buffing this in Okay, let's do that. I have a stippling brush right here and I kind of want to see what this does. I'm going to pick some up with my brush. I don't want to use a mirror right here. I kind of want to see if I start around here. I'm nervous. I'm going to put it a little bit here because this was my um, big concern. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this side kind of more of a buffing, stippling technique. And on this one, I'm just going to lightly feather it throughout. So um, I didn't set my under eye. So ooh, should I do that? Okay, let's do it. Why not? So I kind of like put it all over on this side. I won't do the same on this side, but I just wanted to see how it looks and it doesn't it doesn't really look that bad i actually feel like it gave just a little bit of glow it's not too much i'm 
uh, I was expecting a bit more, I don't know, something to go wrong, but it actually looks decent. Um, usually I don't just buff powder in, I just want to set my foundation slightly. So I'm gonna do what I would normally do with a powder. I'm going to take this Sonia G Mini Cheek Brush. I'm just gonna go in here and just slightly set this area. Probably wouldn't bring it down here because I would never take powder there, but I'm gonna set this area and almost here to add a little bit of a highlighter. So I actually kind of like it this way. I don't feel like it emphasizes the pores like it did before. It actually added a slight glow to the face overall. Um, I enjoy it more than I expected this way. I, I expected it to disturb the foundation, to maybe pick up too much foundation, to give me texture, but it, it didn't. Like here, I don't even know if I would call it texture, but it definitely gives a little bit more attention here that I would like. Uh, so I probably wouldn't put it right here. I would probably just focus it around this area. It actually looks pretty nice right now. And I think the more I wear it, the more it would probably sink into my skin and look just better overall, but it's not bad. I definitely prefer it this way than to wear it just by itself. I do think that I could use this just to blend in everything and if I want just an overall glowier look, I think this could work. But it's just so finicky, it's so finicky. Okay, I wanna try this blush one more time over it because I liked it so much. So I'm just gonna add it a little bit more. Oh wait, it does have a tiny mirror right here. Well, this whole thing is a mirror, which is kind of nice because it helps me see. I really like this blush. It's definitely more corally on the cheeks that it looks in pain. So now that it kind of had time to sit, I actually really don't like it under my eyes. It brings just too much texture. Um, and so yeah, that's not good either. But overall, this area, it looks nice. Even on the nose, it actually looked really pretty. So the only way I see myself actually using this is just to buff in just overall. The, the blush, the highlighter, the it just everything to just make it a little bit smoother yet glowier. Uh, I wouldn't say this is a smoothing powder, absolutely not, but just that transition to make that blend in better. Um, so I don't know, this is just not, not for me. So the couple of things that surprised me is that it looked better throughout the day. As I was wearing it, it didn't get any glowier. So that's good. Like if you like the way this looks on your skin, it, it didn't it doesn't get glowier throughout so you don't get more shine through I actually think that it kind of kept everything kind of perfect for about I don't know about when it was six o'clock it was still looking decent like I looked in the mirror I was driving it looked nice now it is like past nine o'clock and it started to go down but also I did you know play with the baby and stuff like that and the kids so um it actually lasted pretty good and it didn't get glowier. It kind of stayed the same. Um, again, I don't really like the texture that it gives to my skin. It gets into every single pore. I had to really <laughs> cover those pores before putting this foundation on and the blush actually saved, saved it. The blush is perfect. Um, so would I recommend this? No. I really wouldn't. I think it's too finicky. Unless you have perfect skin that has no pores and you just want a glowy skin, then maybe. I didn't even mind the glowiness because I like glow. Like, I like glow a lot. 
I didn't like the texture that it gave on my skin, mainly the forehead, which I never have issues with products on my forehead, but I just felt like I, I saw it there and here where the pores are a little bit more enlarged, I uh, didn't like it, um, but everywhere else was fine. Uh, so again, the glow is okay. I, I like the glow. I just didn't like the way it emphasized just everything else. But the blush, the blush is so pretty. It lasted really well. Um, and then it's a very blurring, which is really, really nice. I wasn't expecting this to be um, that blurring, but I don't see a sheen to it. Like, kind of seems pretty matte on the skin. Let me check. Yeah, the blush doesn't seem to have a shine to it. Uh, when I swatch it here, it seems pretty matte. Maybe a slight satin finish, but definitely not glowy at all. So those are my final thoughts. I don't like this. I think it's too finicky, even for just buffing all over. It, it's okay, it's not the best. Definitely Hourglass, so much better. This Guerlain powder, so much better. Um, it's just not for me. I'm very curious to see some good reviews where it didn't just turn their skin into just textury mess. And I, again, do not struggle with texture almost at all. Like that is not a huge issue for me. So for me to like complain about that, it's, it, it says a lot. However, the blush is amazing. I love it and I'm very glad I picked it up. So uh, let me know your thoughts down below. I hate not giving good reviews, but I will always be honest and tell you what I think about it. And I tried, I really tried to make this work and it's just, it's just not for me. Um, I want to know your thoughts. What did you think? Are you still intrigued? Are you interested in buying it? Did you buy it? Did you like it? I'm so curious to hear your thoughts. Uh, and with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.